Do you want to grow unlimited pudina or mint at home? It is very easy and you'll have as much pudina as you want in about 20 days from just a few cuttings. In this video, we will show you exactly what you need to do and I promise you'll never have to buy any more pudina from the market. Most people take pudina cuttings and place it in water. They wait until the cutting develops enough roots and then transplant it into the soil. This method works if you keep the soil moist at all times. Otherwise, the plant starts wilting in just a few days. We are going to grow mint just a bit differently. Firstly, take some pudina plants, cut off the roots and place them in water for about 30 minutes to keep them fresh. Remove all the leaves one by one leaving just a few at the top. Your cuttings will work even if they are just 2-3 to three inches long. Make a cut right below the node. Repeat the same process with all your cuttings. Your cuttings need roots to grow well. So, we will plant them in seedling trays or small containers so that they have roots first. Mix some compost and cocoa peat for the cuttings. You can plant all your cuttings in one pot but it is going to be tough later to transplant them so we are using seedling trays. Plant all your cuttings one by one. You can leave your cuttings out in the open and water them every day but Again, they might wilt. The cuttings grow better if they are in a humid environment or if they have moisture. So we need something like a dome to protect the cuttings from direct sunlight and keep them moist at all times. We placed our seedling trays in a thermocol box and covered it with a plastic sheet. You can place your container or seedling tray inside a plastic bag and it will work the same. It may take about 10 to 15 days for the cuttings to develop roots. Spray some water once in 10 to 15 days and cover the plastic sheet again. Let the plants remain inside the plastic sheet until you see them develop a few leaves. So this is what you will see about 10 to 15 days later. As you can see, the cuttings have a healthy root system. It's now time to plant them in their final containers. Next, we will create a potting mix that is light and allows the roots to spread everywhere. We've made a mix that contains 20% compost, 50% cocoa peat, some perlite, manure and vermicompost. Mix everything well and fill your potting mix in your chosen container. Start planting your rooted cuttings one by one. To harvest pudina frequently, use big containers. Here we've used a 24 by 10 fabric container. You can use plastic pots, cement or terracotta pots to grow mint. Next, water the cuttings really well. Pudina loves nitrogen-based fertilizers, so you can use cow dung manure or used coffee grounds. This is what you will see a week later. During this period, water your cuttings as much as possible. One more week later, the plants will show more growth. Another week later, you will see that the plant spreads its roots everywhere. And finally, about a month after planting your cuttings, 
you'll have so much pudina that you won't know what to do with them. So this is how you grow pudina at home, in your terrace garden or balcony. Please like and subscribe if this video has helped you in any way. If you have any questions, shoot them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. We hope you grow lots of mint and happy gardening!